For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Wizard Hair Wave project. And basically, uh, I'm going to be revisiting some of the animation we looked at earlier on in this training series where we had this wizard and we made his eyebrows move and his mustache move and stuff like that, like he was casting spells. And it was so cool to, to bring his face to life so much, but... You know, if wizards are casting spells and got this big old beard, it's going to be doing something. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use these distort effects we looked at in the last movie to bring his beard to life. So I'm going to do a search in the effects and presets panel for the wave warp effect. Again, that's not the wave world effect. It's the wave warp. And I'm going to apply it to the wizard beard layer in the wizard hair uh, comp there. Now remember that wave warp is auto animating. So if you hit the space bar, his beard's already going for it. But it's way too much motion. So first we're going to take wave height to about three. Then we're going to take wave width to 50. Next we're going to take wave speed to 0.5. Now if we hit the home key and preview this, we can see that his beard slowly but subtly moves as if he was creating some magic and it was stirring up wind and it was blowing his beard. Now I probably toned down the eyebrows and mustache animation. I'm not sure how that got so crazy. But I like how his beard is majestically moving there. And even that we could speed up probably a little bit, especially how, how much it contrasts with the mustache and the eyebrows. But it still is really cool to bring his face to life that much more. So just an idea of something that you can do in the real world with the distort effects. In the next movie, we're going to look at how to use effects to make layers blow up.